Um, all praise is glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakudash, which in the Hebrew language means all praises to the Most High. His true name is Yahweh by Hashem in the name Yahweh Shai, is whom the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai, Rakakudash means Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well, peace of the elect. This is a response to uh, Apostle Taha's video, Romans chapter 13 and the government authorities, because Jeff Sessions. As the title says, it says Jeff Sessions cherry picked the Bible passage to defend Trump's immigration policy. All right, so first scripture we'll start off with is uh, Psalm. Psalm fifteen and sixteen. It says, uh, "But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth?" So the wicked being the so-called white man who the Bible calls Esau, they have nothing to do with uh, with the most high, with the God of the Bible, because they they because uh, verse 17 says what? Seeing thou hatest instruction and casted my words behind thee. Everything the Bible says to do, uh, the so-called white man labors to go directly opposite and against it. All right. And we're saying that because, uh, well, I'm saying that. Because it's true, all right? Anybody that disagree, all you got to do is look at history. All these presidents have been so-called white men. Barack Obama is a Hamite. We are not Hamites, all right? We're Israelites. And he, he, does, he did nothing but, but, but further the agenda of the so-called white man. The Republicans are supposed to be what? Pro-life. They're supposed to be what? Uh, Anti-homosexuality and all that. But what happened? They didn't outlaw abortion. Uh, they didn't outlaw homosexuality. The so-called Republicans were supposed to be for the Bible, but the Bible is not being enforced. Okay, the laws of the Bible is not being enforced. So what 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 has the so-called white man do to to use the uh, to go about the Bible? Look, uh, let's go back to him. Look at his face. He got a shaved face, bald booty face. The Bible says a man's supposed to have a beard. That's in the Bible. You see? So this is uh going to uh let's go to Romans 13. It says, uh, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the most high. The powers that be are ordained of the most high. And that is true, because the uh uh the scripture says the Lord set it down one and he raises up another. So throughout the ages, throughout the histories, the different empires and different kingdoms, you know, you got the, the Persian, the Babylonians, uh, the Romans, the Greeks. The Lord set all those up, even uh, the kingdom of Israel uh, under King David and King Solomon. The Lord set it up. So, yes, that's true. But. Verse 2 says, Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the orders of the Most High, and they that resist shall receive to themselves that nation. So Jeff Sessions tried to use this scripture to say that you're supposed to do what the government says. Now, the government says a lot of things that's against the Bible. All right? The government agrees with, like I brought out earlier, homosexuality, abortion, um, uh, women being equal but more so above the man all right uh all this uh border control they they separating families children from their mothers children from their fathers okay now those things are not uh those things don't don't line up with the bible so it says uh so you got to have wisdom to understand when and when not to to basically listen to the government now and I, am I telling you not to pay your traffic t ticket? Am I telling you to run stop signs, run lights, not have health insurance? Which a lot of these laws are uh, unnecessary to keep you oppressed, to keep you paying taxes. But hey, those, that's the power ordained from the most high. But let's get an example. Okay, this is Daniel chapter 3 verse 1. It says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits. And the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dora in the province of Babylon. So he set up in golden image, right? 
All right, so I'm going um, to jump down. Verse 4, then in herald cried aloud, to you it is commanded, O people, nations, and language, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. And whoso falleth not down and worship it, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. All right, so you see the power that the Most High set up, King Nebuchadnezzar, the, the, the Babylonian kingdom, he made a law, he made a decree for all peoples and nations to worship this golden image, right? All right, so let me jump, so let me jump down to uh, 14. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which was, uh, I can't remember the Hebrew names right now. Mishael. So, well, they were, they were Hebrew Israelites, okay? And they was under the, uh, they was under the Babylonian captivity and they was under Babylonian rule. And they obeyed certain Babylonian customs. See, they, they answered to their, their, their Babylonian names because those Babylonian names, they wasn't, oh, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm not going to answer to this Babylonian name. They wore the Babylonian dress. They didn't say, I'm, I'm not wearing this. I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing my, my, my Hebrew Israelite garment. They moved with wisdom. Okay. Verse, but, but, but this here, but this here is a no, no. Cause that's, that's the, that's the direct, thou shall not have any other gods before me. Thou shall not worship any other gods. Our God is Yahweh by Hashem Shai. So you don't go worshiping nobody else. It says, uh. Now, I'm going to jump to, I'm going I'm to read down. Now, if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sack, butt, sultry, and dulcim, and all kinds of music, ye fall down to worship the image which I have made well. But if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning, firing furnace. And who was that power that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of, the, out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. See? And that's, and that's, the, that's the spirit and attitude we have, all right? Navigating in this truth, uh, uh, being circumspect, being wise, being subtle, all right? Because the scripture says that to give subtility to the simple. All right. When you read Proverbs. Now the, the scripture says a homosexual is supposed to be put to death. All right. So when we, which, which you see multiple homosexuals, transsexuals in America. Now when we see them uh, out in our public daily life, do we, do we, we get vexed mentally. But do we, do we do anything to them? Do we go, go, you ain't supposed to be a faggot. God going to kill you. No. The, 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 the power said that it's legal, so we deal with it thus, okay? So it says, uh, then, then was Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the, the, the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into burning, fiery furnace. So when you continue, uh, you know, to read the, the, uh, the passage, uh, they was delivered, you know. Yahweh Shai said, one like unto the son of man was in the furnace with them and they, wasn't, and they was not hurt. So they was delivered. But, but the attitude that they had was, look. We even if our God not gonna save us, we not finna do this thing. Just because somebody, just because uh, there's a law that makes something legal, that don't mean it's right. Okay, so let me. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump to. Uh, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine, verse eighteen. It says. All right, uh, I'm gonna start at seventeen. It says, and thy counsel, who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above, 
For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. And that's what the wisdom come through the, the scriptures, the Holy Bible. That's what's going to save us. The, the, uh, the, uh, the proper application of this knowledge. All right. Yeah, we subject them to the higher powers. Yeah, we got to have uh, insurance. Yeah, we got to pay taxes. Yeah, a, a lot of these laws that they got is wicked. But we're not going to serve any other God. All right. So let me jump. And there's other examples, too. That's why the scripture says uh, Romans 15 and 4. I'll get that real quick. Romans 15 and 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So we, we got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You got Mordecai when he didn't bow down to, to Haman. You got the Maccabees when they didn't, when they didn't sacrifice the, the, the swine on the altar. All right? We not finna, we we we're not uh, uh and then we got the uh we got the examples of what happened to our people when they did worship those other gods. Okay? We we we're not to do that. But uh, uh the, the someone that's simple that doesn't have this wisdom, but they think they believe in the Bible, they'll hear that scripture in Romans 13 and then they'll get the mark of the beast. Oh, they say, "Oh, well that's in the well the Bible says we got to be subject and this is uh, just because it's legal." That don't mean it's lawful, all right? That don't mean it's lawful according to the Bible. You gotta, we got, we have to navigate. The Bible is our navigation. We have to navigate through wisdom, all right? So, um, let me jump to uh, Salaki. I'm gonna jump to uh, Revelation 13, all right? Because that is basically that's the. Uh, the overplay for the underlay, so to speak. To throw that, to throw that out there. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehands. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now that's talking about the, 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 the RFID microchip. And we know that because that word mark it's a physical thing. It says a stamp, karagma, a stamp, and a print mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. So basically, when you get that, that mark of the beast, you're submitting yourself to the uh to the to the so-called white man. Because that's who that's who uh who who uh propagating it, that's who putting it out there. That's who uh the government. So you're saying that your way is white and I'm going to follow you because without that mark of the beast, you're not going to be able to to uh, to eat, to 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 drink. It said it. It said to buy or sell. You ain't going to be able to pay bills. You're not going to be able to participate in, in, in everyday transactions. All right. And so you're saying that you're going to trust in them and trust in their way for you to live instead of trusting in the Lord to live. Trusting the Lord to pay you because the Lord said, now when you read uh, Romans 13 and, this, and then somebody simple will say, okay, well, I got to get the mark of the beast. You got to, you got to read this. All right. Uh, uh, this is Revelation 14 and 9. It says, uh, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're a fool. To, that's foolish to, to get the mark of the beast. Yeah, the government said, uh, yeah, Jeff Sessions trying to use the Bible to, to, for his agenda, but he don't, he don't, and I like how they use the word cherry pick, because he, he got a booty face, and the Bible say a man's supposed to have a beard. So, it's, it's, it's all redundant. Oh, I got to get the mark of the beast. How I'm going to live? How I'm going to eat? You use, the, you use Romans 13, you a so-called Christian, right? You believe in the Bible. So you so you you obey the scripture Roman 13 and get in the mark of the beast, but you dis but you disobey the scripture 
of, of, of the mark of the beast when it say he that get it going to be destroyed and tormented with fire. All right. So that's that's not that's just not wise. All right. So this I'm a, this is a Revelation 3 and 10. <laughs> because thou hast kept the word of my patience, kept Tyrio to attend to carefully, to take care of. So we, you got to attend to the word carefully. Yes, Romans 13 says, obey the, 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 the powers that be, so to speak, they are ordained of God. But when you attend to it carefully, you're, you, you, you're wise in your application. Like, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm pay my bills. Yeah, I'm going to do the speed limit. Yeah, I'm going to show up to court. Yeah, I'm going you know, to do this and that. But I'm not going to worship no other God because that's what you're doing when you get the mark of the beast. So you got to attend to the words carefully. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that's the hour of temptation when the only way that you can, you can exist at the level you exist in now is with the mark of the beast. The only way you can go and buy groceries. The only way you can buy, uh, you can um, pay for your shelter. The only way you can you can operate your vehicle, all right? Because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a drastic uh, change in people's living conditions, all right? It says, "I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation." That's very tempting when you can't when you can't go in the refrigerator when you want when you can't uh, just operate like like as of now. It's uh, what's today? Today is Wednesday, June twentieth. As of right now, Wednesday, June twentieth, you pe people can freely move. All right, you can go to the store when, whenever you please. You can go to the mall. Okay, you can go get some of the, uh, go to the movies, whatever. But it's gonna come a time where we're not gonna be able to freely, freely move like that. And those that will be able to freely move or move better than others is gonna be those with the mark of the beast, with that RFID microchip, or the NFC, I believe, in Europe. It says, which shall come upon all the world. So every this is going to come everybody. It said it causes all, both small and great, to try them that dwell upon the earth. So that's the test. Now, you, you uh, that Romans 13, that's you going after your own covetousness. See, don't, 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 don't make excuses for yourself. Oh, God, God don't want me to starve. What, what about my kids? What about my kid? God don't want my kids to die. I got to feed my kid. No, you can't, you can't have that type of uh, mentality because we got the scriptures. All right, you got you to gotta trust in him. You got to trust in him. And hey, just like uh, Shadrach and Meshach uh, and Abednego said, they say, look, now our power can deliver us if he want to. But if he don't, we not from the worship no other gods. All right? So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praise to Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shai Bashin, Rakakodash, Shalom.